doesn't count. Mm. Hey. Hey. Show canvas. <laughs> what? Um. Um. This is the canvas. Yeah, but if I stretch the canvas, it also stretches all the other stuff inside. No. Mm. There. Now let me make the canvas bigger. Please. Now put the stuff back in. <gasps> it deleted it! You dumb. You dumb dumb. You dumb 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 dumb. Oh wait, it's keeping the ratio. No, it's not. There, much better. No, I need I need more white space on either side. Crap. Crap. Why? No. No. No, no, no. You're not allowed to delete it? Come on. No, 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 no. This is how I'm doing it. Because, of course, that's how you have to do it. Uh, this is bull. Um, this is Do 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 I'm just going to draw it with a brush. I don't even care. Oh, no! Oh, it didn't even put the text. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. This is easier than using the actual arrow thingy. So. This is so weird.
ストストップストップクラップ Now I have to do this. That took five years. Ooh, that took five years. Ooh, that took five years. That took five years. Oh. However, from now on, we will use the mean, not the average, to track our progress because I eventually switched to using a training website that only tracks the mean. The difference between mean and average is the average doesn't count a certain percentage of the worst and best solves, whereas the mean does. <laughs> The difference between mean and average is the a mean and average is.
average is the average doesn't count. Ugh. No. 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 No, 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 no. No, I oh, it's too late. <laughs> No, did you just delete all of my work that I did? No, don't you dare. Why? Deleted all my work. Come on. No. No. No, 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 no. 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 All the work I just now gone. Ah. <laughs> 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 average is the average doesn't mean not the average to track our progress because I eventually switched to using a training website that only tracks the mean. The difference between mean and average is the average doesn't count as. Average is the average doesn't count a certain percentage of the worst and best solves, whereas the mean solves. Whereas the <laughs> solves, whereas the mean does. The mean does. However, 
from now on. However, from now on, we will use the mean, not the average, to track our progress because I eventually switched to using a training website, Mean Doug. solves, whereas the mean does. Average is, the average doesn't count a certain percentage of the worst and best solves, whereas the mean does. What? Why? Why? You don't do a video. <laughs>
This is terrible. <laughs> what an epic picture, dude. Ugh. What an epic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Two forty six. So, anyways, the mean of this session was three point nine five. Two forty seven. So I've always recognized winter variation by looking at the top layer. Recognize winter variation by looking at the top by looking at the top layer. Which requires looking at four different sides of the cube. Recognize winter variation by looking at the top layer. Sides of the cube. Two forty eight. It's physically impossible to look at both the It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. So this both the right and left sides at the same time. at the same time for this recognition method is time for this recognition method is not ideal <laughs> requires looking at four 
four different sides of the cube. It's physically impossible. It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time, but this recognition method is not ideal. It's physically <laughs> Dude, what if I mirrored the video? <laughs> No, come on. You can rotate a video, you can't mirror it. Because I, I... It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. But this rec It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. But this recognition method is not ideal. It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. But this recognition method is not ideal. It's not ideal. It's impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time. But this recognition method is not ideal. It's not ideal. This recognition method. At the same time, but this recognition method is not ideal. recognition method which requires looking at just three sides three sides which you can do more quickly than four sides which you can do more quickly than four sides <laughs> to a recognition method which requires looking at it was switched to a rec it was switched to a recognition method which requires looking at it was switched to a recognition method which requires looking at just three sides which you can do more quick it was switched to a recognition method which requires looking at just three sides which you can do more quickly than four sides <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> Three sides, which you can do more quickly than four sides. method requires you to look at the orient <laughs> This recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this corner. This recognition method <laughs> <laughs> the orientation of this corner. Uh, <laughs> 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 requires you to look.
look at the orientation of this hub. Recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this hub. Recognition method requires you to look at the This recognition <laughs> This recognition method is <laughs> This recognition method is This recognition This recognition method requires you to <laughs> What if I cut off this part right here? This re this <laughs> this re what? This recognition. This recognition method has to be more powerful than four sides. This recognition. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of liked it better when it was just like this. This recognition method requires. <laughs> This recognition method requires you to look at the I don't know. This is four sides. I think I want to get rid of the gap, actually. Like, if it was just instant, like... This recognition method requires four sides, which you can do more sides, which you can do more quickly than four sides. This recognition method requires you to look at four sides. This recognition method. This recognition method requires you to look at this. This recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this corner. Please don't. Be the video. Wait. This re <laughs> recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this. This recognition method requires. This recognition method. Re this recognition method. This 
recognition method has four sides. This recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this corner. Two fifty two. It can either this corner. It can either be this corner. It can either be that requires you to look at the orientation of this corner. This corner. It can either be on the front. It can either be on the front, right. It can either be on the front, right, or bottom. It can either be on the front, right, or bottom. This corner. It can either be on the front of this corner. It can either be on Front. It can either be on the front, right, or right, 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 or bottom, bottom. Right or bottom? Bottom. <coughs> Two fifty three. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as four-sided recognition. For me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as Take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as foresight recognition. It's going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as foresight recognition. It's going to take a while. <laughs> I'm just doing this. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't want to use a picture of a brain.
No, no, it's going to take a while for me to learn it, right or bottom. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as foresighted recognition. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to learn it. Recognition method. It was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as foresighted recognition. Recognition. Never used this recognition method. It was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed. Method, it was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as foresight. <laughs> recognition. So here I started working on three side recognition for front right cases. So he right cases.
right cases. this at this point I realized that there was a much better website called train you is that there was a much better website called train you website called site called site called site called train you that I could use to practice I could use to practice that I could use to practice. It would allow me to randomize AUF and even input specific F and e even. I realized that there was a much better website called Train You that I could use to practice. It would allow me to randomize AUF. At this point, I realized that there was a much better website called Train You that I could use to practice. It would allow me to randomize AUF and even input specific AUF suppress. <laughs> and even input specific AUF suppress.
house of practice. It would allow me, I could use to practice. It would allow me house of practice. For a while after the house of practice. For a while after this, I had the website settings set up and state the house of practice. House of practice. For a while after this, I had the website settings set up in a state that caused it every solved it. Skip. Solved. I have a PLL skip. Solved. I have a PLL skip.
Yeah, but what is winter variation? It's a subset of algorithms which allows you to solve it. Yeah, but what is winter variation? It's a subset of algorithms which allows you to solve your last F2L pair and OLL at the same time, as long as the pair is pre-made and you have all of your edges oriented. I know full winter variation for cases where you insert the pair into the front right, the front left, and the back right. Now I'm about to explain a very inefficient way of practicing winter variation, but it's what I did at first, so I have to. I have out for for out for out duet. Skip. This plus the recognition time in skip. 
This plus the fact that I stopped including the recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my times were averaging around 1.9. The fact that I stopped including the recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my times were averaging around 1.9 hours of practice. For a while after this, I had the website settings set up in a state that caused every solve to have a PLS skip. This plus the fact that I stopped including the recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my times were averaging around 1.9. My times were averaging around 1.9. Recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my times were averaging around 1.9. My times were averaging around 1.9. For a while after this, I had the website settings set up in a state that caused every solve to have a PLS skip. This plus the fact that I stopped including the recognition time. I'll skip. This plus the skip. The PLS skip. This plus the fact that I stopped including recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my plus the fact. That I stopped including recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my times were averaging around 1.9. Short while my times were averaging. Plus the fact that I stopped including recognition time in my solves meant that for the PLS skip. This plus the fact that I stopped including recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while my times were averaging around 1.9. If I delete this, it's going to delete a bunch of stuff. I just know it is. Oh. Okay, didn't cut up. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but what is winner variation? It's a subset of algorithms which allows you to solve your last F2L pair and OLL at the same time, as long as the pair is pre-made and you have all of your edges oriented. I know full winner variation for cases where you insert the pair into the front right, the front left, and the back right. Now I'm about to explain a very front left and the back right. Now I'm about to explain a very inefficient way of practicing winter variation, but it's what I did. 
in the back right. Now I'm about to explain a very inefficient way of practice. It's a subset of algorithms which allows you to solve your last F2L pair and OLL at the same time, as long as the pair is pre-made and you have all of your edges oriented. I know full winner variation for cases where you insert the pair into the front right, the front left, Back right. Now I'm a have to the back. Front left and the back right. Now I'm about to explain a very inefficient way of practicing winter variation, but it's what I did at first, so I have to last layer, so I have to have to. the back right. Now I'm about to explain a very inefficient way of practicing winter variation, but it's what I did at first, so I have to. From now on, we will use the mean, not the average, to track our progress, because I eventually switched to using a training website that only tracks the mean. The difference between mean and average is, the average doesn't count a certain percentage of the worst and best solves, the average doesn't count a certain percentage of the worst and best solves, whereas the mean does. So I've always recognized winter variation by looking at... So I've always recognized winter variation by looking at the top layer, which requires looking at four different sides of the cube. It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time, so this recognition method is not ideal. What I wanted to do in this video was switch to a recognition method which requires looking at just three sides, which you can do more quickly than four sides. This recognition <laughs> So I've always recognized winter variation by looking at the top layer, which requires looking at four different sides of the cube. It's physically impossible to look at both the right and left sides at the same time, so this recognition method is not ideal. What I wanted to do in this video was switch to a recognition method which requires looking at just three sides, which you can do more quickly than four sides. This recognition method requires you to... Hello, oh, I didn't even hear it. Which you can do more quickly than four sides. This recognition... Oh, come on! Okay, this... The only way to hear it is if I did that. It was switch to a recognition method which requires looking at just three sides, which you can do more quickly than four sides. This recognition method requires you to look this recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this corner. It can either be on the front, right, or bottom. This recognition method front, right, or bottom. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to learn it. Bottom. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to bottom. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to learn. Uh, um, uh. Switch to a recognition method which requires looking at just three sides, which you can do more quickly than four sides. This recognition method requires you to look at the orientation of this corner. It can either be on the front, right, or bottom. Since I had never used this recognition method, it was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as four-sided recognition. So here, I started working on three-sided recognition for front-right cases. So here I started working on three side. So here I started. It was going to take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as four sided recognition. So.
should take a while for me to learn it and get it up to the same speed as me. At this point, I realized that there was a much better website called TrainU that I could use to practice. It would allow me to randomize AUF and even input specific hours to practice. For a while after this, I had the website settings set up in a state that caused every solve to have a PLL skip. This plus the fact that I stopped including recognition time in my solves meant that for a short while, my times were averaging around 1.9.